Hey everybody, Kristen here, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing six ways that I calm down my nervous system and calm down my body and just feel relaxed. So my first tip on how I start off my day right and create a sense of calm, calm down my nervous system, is by taking some deep breaths. Taking deep breaths in and out helps to restore control and it also sends signals to my brain that disarm the emergency bells that are ringing, lowers my stress levels, lowers my heart rate, makes my body feel relaxed, I hold less tension, and it just helps me be more aware and start my day off slower, calmer, and less irritated and irritable. The next tip, the second tip, is by visualizing. So, in order to get a hold of my emotions when they feel out of control or if I feel out of control of my emotions, I tend to visualize my emotion getting smaller and smaller. Now, some of the ways I do this is by visualizing me placing my emotion on a, in the clouds as I'm walking and it just slowly drifts away into the clouds. Or if I'm walking by the lake or by a body of water, um, or even if I'm in my apartment, I'll visualize and imagine that I am by the lake, that I can hear the waves crashing and I can hear the birds and I can smell the scent of the lake and I can feel the breeze on my face and I will place my emotions or my thoughts on a rock or on a leaf as it falls into the water and watch it slowly drift away and get smaller and smaller and smaller in the distance. The other thing here too that I also use is sometimes I'll visualize like my favorite place to go to which is usually like canoeing at the lake or taking a run by the lake. So find your favorite place, your most calming space, and visualize it in great deta detail. Describe the scents, the sounds, um, what you feel. Describe any sense of like taste. Just use your senses and write down, say aloud, say in your mind everything that comes to mind when it comes to that place to help you help yourself visualize it. Name everything you can, every detail you remember about that place until you get there in your mind. It's just a great calming practice that I use and that I've found to be really helpful. And my third tip is of course to get outside in nature. That is the most important. I start my day off like this and I also usually do some sort of evening exercise as well, but get outside, get some sunshine, get some vitamin D, feel the sun on your face, boost your serotonin and other minerals in your body, and get your body outside. It is so important, even if it's like maybe raining out and it's kind of a drear or a cold day, as much as you can, get outside for a few minutes. Ground yourself, walk in the grass with your bare feet, um, even just sitting outside with the sun shining on your face, smelling the air, feeling the breeze, Allow yourself to use your senses and to just be outside and get some sunshine. I promise it's a definite mood booster and it calms down my emotions pretty much every time. And then my fourth tip, fourth way that I calm down my body is by socializing. I love to spend time with family, friends, loved ones, people that are going to be positive and are going to boost me up, that are going to make me laugh, make me smile. And so that's the main thing I focus on. Um, I also tend to focus on like, is there any way that I can maybe help others? Um, but I give intention um, to the people around me and to the space around me. I try to be present and be more mindful and to just be present with the people that I'm with. I'll put my phone away. I will kind of disconnect from social media for a little while and just focus on the person that I'm with. I found that this helps my relationships. It helps me calm down and it just helps me focus better. Um, 
I love this practice and I try to at least do this a few times a week. The fifth way that I calm down my body is through spiritual practice. Now, if you're not religious, that's okay. This doesn't have to be um, a specific religion. Um, it can be meditation. It can be journaling. It can be expressing gratitude. It can be being one with nature and being content with nature. It can be reading books of your choosing. It can be re reading spiritual books or the Bible. Really, when you come down, when it comes down to it, it's all about putting your mind and body at ease and slowing down. And I've just found that through prayer, through meditation, journaling, gratitude, all of these things have helped me to just feel more connected, to feel more grateful, to feel more positive, and to gain greater control over my body and my nervous system. And then the last and final tip, way that I gain control over my emotions, my nervous system, my body, is by getting up and moving my body. This is especially true in the morning. It's also true for me after work in the evening, but it definitely helps maintain good levels of oxygen and blood flow to my body just by getting up and moving. Moving my body, stretching. It doesn't have to be intense exercise. Usually I will like stretch, get ready, and go for a walk. I don't do really intense cardio generally or like very intense exercise in the morning. I know for some people this works, but for me I found that what works best is actually doing running or things like that later on, not immediately after I'm getting up. I just, I don't have the energy and it takes me a while to get up, so do what works for you. It doesn't have to be intense exercise or cardio. It can be something as simple as taking your dog or your pet out for a walk but it's gonna definitely improve your strength, your memory, and it's just a great exercise. So those are the six ways that I calm down my body, my mind, and my nervous system. If you guys have any other ways that you um, slow down and calm down your body, your heart rate, please comment them down below. I'd love to hear some more ideas from y'all, but those are just the six, six practices that I try to have in place and do every day, every week. And yeah, I hope these were helpful for y'all. Please give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, it is a beautiful day to simplify. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a beautiful week. Bye.